Important details about flea bites. Fleas are small insects, they are like 0.25 inches in length. They lack wings, yet they have hind legs that are meant for jumping. They've got the capacity to reproduce in short time spans while they live in carpets and fabrics. Humans as well as animals can be bitten by flea bites, which could be painful and itchy. Fleas are carriers of human diseases. Plague is a very good example. Those who have pets stand a higher chance of getting bites from fleas, even though you can equally get the infestation if you don't have a pet. Fleas could invade any fur or fabric. The moment they access a home, they breed quickly and that could mean some hazard. This article will be covering all you have to know concerning human flea bites, which include how you can spot them as well as treat them. Also, this article will be giving you tips on how to make your home and pet fleas free. Facts about flea bites. These fleas mostly feed on animals but could also carry out human flea bite if they have the chance. They could be hard to get rid of in a home and could survive for over 100 days outside their host. Flea bites are likely to cause allergic reactions even though they won't have a serious effect on the health of the individual. Human flea bites are usually small with their red spot in the center, mostly appearing in threes or fours. Blisters can be seen on bites of beg bugs but not on bites from fleas. Regularly vacuum and clean floors, beddings, furniture as well as skirting boards for reducing the possibility of getting infested by flea. What is the nature of flea bites? Flea bites on humans are normally seen close to the feet, legs, or ankles. If it is not controlled, fleas can bite any part of the body, particularly on guys that have hairy chest or legs. The flea bites in humans are quite small with central red spots. They are normally seen in threes or fours, or sometimes in a straight line. Flea bites on humans normally form one small scab that is circled by a red halo that is light. Since many flea bites don't form any reactions in human beings, they may go not be noticed. How do humans get bitten by fleas? Human beings are more like a secondary option regarding flea bites because they make a bad host. They are only targets for adult fleas that are hungry and haven't gotten a much better host. If a child or adult happens to crawl or walk past any of the adult fleas that just came out from its own cocoon, they're likely to be considered as an alternative for a nice meal. Symptoms Many individuals won't develop flea bite symptoms that are noticeable. Generally, fleas don't carry diseases. Kids and adults who are seemingly allergic could react badly to the bite. This could include itching and swelling. The skin could become painful and irritated about the bite, having hives as well as rash sometimes. A secondary type of infection might develop when the bite is scratched continuously. In many cases, fleas would be annoying and could signify a household kind of infestation which ought to be taken care of but won't cause any severe symptoms. Complications Flea bites can be responsible for two major complications. These are secondary infections and allergic reactions. If someone has been bitten and starts showing these symptoms, they ought to get medical attention fast. Difficulty in breathing. Nausea. Swollen face or lips. Flea bites may equally be infected. Therefore, if the person who is affected has extreme pain about the bite, swollen glands, or extreme redness, they are expected to get with a medical doctor. In a couple of cases, fleas are carriers of diseases which could be transmitted via bites like flea-borne fever, typhus, plague, as well as cat's scratch fever. Bed bugs, fleas, and mosquitoes. Most people are focused on bed bugs in the course of traveling, while the bed bugs and fleas bite in humans are easily mistaken for one another. It's relevant to understand what differentiates these bites from one another, as it will help you in avoiding administering treatments to the wrong infestations and symptoms. 
Human flea bites will show a small red bump that is surrounded by a small mark of skin that has been inflamed. Also, the bites do seem to occur when there is a domestic-related infestation. Bed bug bites are similar to that of mosquitoes with a raised, large, irritated area. Nevertheless, mosquito bites are larger and don't show up in patterns. The mosquito bites mainly occur during sunset or during the night. Flea bites doesn't have any particular time. Due to their habitat, bed bugs normally produce bites intermittently. Both are going to itch, however, bed bugs bites are more inflamed. Bites from fleas normally appear in little clusters on a skin that is easily accessible. They could be in any part of the body, though ankles and feet bites are very popular. Bites of bed bugs do appear in straight line. While they could equally show up anywhere, they're mostly seen on the neck, arms and face. The most notable difference between both is the fact that blisters can form on bites of bed bugs. Treatments. These include, flea bite treatments can span from domestic remedies to various medications. They can be purchased online or on the counter. Calamine lotion. Tea tree oils. Cortisone. Antihistamine medication. Vinegar. To prevent the possibility of any secondary infection, it's essentially important that individuals don't scratch their flea bites. Having the bites treated will aid in reducing the itching. Ordinarily, flea bites will heal without any treatments. What you can do when your pet has got fleas. Pets provide an excellent avenue for fleas accessing any home. Therefore, it's relevant to know how you can have flea infestation resolved as well as implement prevention of fleas within the home. Owners of pet ought to see a vet in order to know if the pet they have is experiencing any health challenges that is brought about by fleas. Vets can suggest so many flea treatments that are effective and inexpensive. After having your pet treated, you need to rid your home of the infestation. Fleas could be hard to destroy, which is why an expert exterminator will always make a better choice. If you aren't sure if your house has got fleas, move around your house putting on white socks. If you see small black bugs beneath your socks, it's indicative of flea infestations. Tips on ridding your home of fleas. There are various ways to remove fleas from your house. Ensure that the house environment and pets undergo cleansing treatments. Fleas could survive for over 100 days outside their host. Take these steps. After using your vacuum cleaners, remove dust bag. Clean as well as vacuum your floors, furniture, beddings and skirting boards. Treat all your pets with prescribed or recommended anti-flea medications. Takeaway. Many fleas which infest a house will be dog fleas or cat fleas. These fleas threaten your pet health compared to any human being in the house. Maintaining a good hygiene inside the house is important to make every flea infestation manageable.